up, friends? Welcome back to our next Slay the Spire daily run thingy here. Yesterday we had a fun run with the Watcher that got a victory on A20. Um, it was basically... I was surprised how quickly, how well the Omniscience is played, especially when you could Omni and Omni. Um, and then to like Mental Fortress. I, 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 know it, I knew it was good, but I didn't know... If, like Basically, every time we swapped stances, then we had 24 block, which felt really good. So today we're going to start our new little thingy. We're going to do our run history. We're going to do uh, um, these things where we do daily climbs. A new challenge is available once a day. Compete for other players with the highest score. That's what we're going to do. Now, I don't know if this is on A20 or A0. If it, if it becomes too easy, like if, it's, if it doesn't have any type of weirdness to it or something that just doesn't feel right, I might stop. But I want to get through at least a week of it, so... So the challenge for today is on the Watcher, which we just played, so I'm kind of a little bummed at that, but that's okay. We get a sealed deck. Craft a deck from 30 random cards. Okay. Time dilution. All enemies start with the slow debuff. And Night Terrors. Resting at rest sites heals 100% of your hit points, but costs 5 max HP, so we don't want to rest as much as possible. Um, we get to craft, we get to draft 10 cards, or 30 cards, craft a deck from 30 random cards. Okay, so... There you go. I'm guessing everybody starts with the same random cards, otherwise this wouldn't make any any change. And the time dilation is something we got to keep in uh, mind as well. So let's embark on this. See what we do. All right, Mr. Whale, what do you got for me? Or Abolith? All right, here's the 30 cards. I guess we get to take how many of them? Uh, it doesn't tell me how many. I'm going to assume like 16 or something, whatever we normally start with. We start with 10, don't we? So what do we want? Uh, we want good cards. So we want, we could do like a prey thing. Um, is there any other, is, there's, there's a prostrate. Um, there's two prostrates and a prey. So we could do something like a, a mantra deck would be fun. Talk to the hand is kind of a no brainer. We're definitely taking that. Uh, rush down is really good. Bowling bash is fine. I don't really see any way to swap stances that much, though. Um, Mental Fortress is great. There's a single Tranquility in here. It kind of needs an upgrade. There's a Crescendo. Okay. Well, let's start with the game, the ones we really want. I think I want Talk to the Hand. Um, Rush Down. Uh, bowling Bash is pretty good, so is Concentrate. I'll take Bowling Bash for early game destruction. Uh, we can decide if we want the Crush Joints and the... Uh, uh, well, we want Mental Fortress. We could take the Crush Joints and the Sash Whip for weakness and stuff. Because we do need attack spells, right? We... yeah, we don't really need damp. Okay, we'll take those two. Oh, it says add 10 cards right there. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So if I take the the mantra um, little or the I'm sorry, yeah. If I take the mantra route, that's seven, eight, nine. Then we get one more. Uh, yeah, we have no way into or out of wrath with this set. So maybe we do do we do this the prostrate and the prostrate. And then I would just need, I think I just need one more good attack card. Uh, as you've seen, our, our, we have zero, <laughs> we have zero defense. So we got to make sure we have plenty of attack too. I mean, our, our defense consists of two prostrates, which is fine. We want to get rid of defense, right? We can switch stances, hopefully. Um, but how many attack cards? We got one in Bowling Bash, two in Talk to the Hand, but that exhausts. Three, four. And there's also the slow debuff to think about. So these zero costing cards are pretty good. I wouldn't mind one more. I guess concentrate is good. Yeah, we'll take concentrate. It, it's a little AOE. Uh, if we ever in are in wrath, which we have no way in wrath, we need to find a way into wrath. Uh, Crescendo is like okay, but it's single wrath usage. So we got to try to find a wrath. Uh, Sands of Time is pretty good too for, but no, it's okay. We'll take, I guess Foresight's okay too to get these cards that we want. But no, we'll take follow up. It's free, right? Follow up's free. Oh no, concentrate. We'll take concentrate. Follow up sometimes free too, though. As long as we attack, this is going to be free. So I'll take follow up. All right, there's our deck, um, and we get to try to win with this. 
All right, let's see how it goes. I wouldn't mind an early shot to try to find a Vigilance or a Crescendo or something. We, in fact, we get two shots of it on this side. Uh, you get more points the more Elites you take. There are three Elites on this side. Yeah, let's go this way. We'll take this way. Um, if we have enough money, we'll go to this shop. Otherwise, we'll get some more card rewards here. All right. He's slow. Uh, Rushdown is basically not good right now, is it? So this is, if we play a skill, he gets vulnerable, which is cool. So we got pretty good block there, actually, um, for turn one. This is if we play an attack. All right, decent, decent, decent. 15 gold, and uh, do I want to evaluate? Not really. It's empty fist, not really. I don't really have a need for those cards yet. We have damaging cards. All right. So I can't, uh, we do get two prostrates down. And a mental fortress. And talk to the hand is gonna help us a lot. Um, yeah, it's full block. Talk to the hand is kind of what we need to be doing here for block. Uh, let's see. Bowling Bash, Wave of the Hand, Signature Move. I don't really want any of those. Signature Move is okay. Um, yeah, Signature Move yeah, signature moves okay, but I don't think it's for us right now. So let's take a first shot at some type of wrath card I don't see any I do see an empty mine which I'm happy to get uh, I mean it's just it's a draw two right we don't need to remove anything because this is the deck we want uh, but yeah I, I see nothing here empty mind is great but I have another shop coming up in one one thing here so uh, oh this is ascension four so this is gonna be a little bit easier anyways Oh boy, unless we take all our damage, all our hit point damage there. Because we can't rest, remember? <laughs> Another rush down, but no way into Wrath. Hmm. I'm going to take the Just Lucky. It's free. It applies. It applies uh, oof. Do I want a. Mm, do I want a pot early on that might help me with one of these elites? I think I do. I think I'm going to take this. We also want to upgrade a bunch of stuff. We have lots of good upgrades. I don't have, this is the only way to get elites though, so. Uh, we get to apply stuff. To, what do we apply to them on turn one? Why did they lose their artifacts? Anybody know? Okay, well, uh, Bowling Bash is gonna do good damage. Um, this is just lucky, so we get to at least weaken this guy. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do the mantra thing right now. And weaken him and we can bowling bash him Ooh, do I want to upgrade these I think I do uh, no I want to upgrade the next turn take a little hit points here this happy flower really hurt us honestly getting the happy flower um, okay so we get a little bit of block here that's nice I want to kill this guy can I? Yeah, 8 and 15. Okay, so I can kill him. I can talk to the hand him. And I only get the 8 block, but then that's okay. Yeah, 8 blocks just 1 damage. We have talked to the hand down on him, so <coughs> we can gather some... Uh, some block here. Uh, this is two. I don't want to kill him here though. This weakens. Yes. Okay, I'll keep that. We want to hit this guy now. Um, yeah, that's fine. We can pray. Uh, yuck. Just plain yuck. Um. Just want a little bit of block there. Two block to be exact. Take seven. There's a prostrate. Uh, when we enter mont when we enter 
when we enter divinity, do we we don't draw, right? No. Mm. So entering divinity there wouldn't have done anything. Uh, but this does stuff. We're in divine. We get to draw. We got a crush joints and a bowling bash. Good deal. Regal pill. Whenever we rest, we heal more, which is completely useless in this run. Uh, but another talk of the hand is good to see. Yeah, I can see all these guys have a lot less hit points. Like, a lot less. Ooh, I probably should have done that the other way around. No, oh, that's okay. We can just lucky. I'll take that too. Uh, this should be a zero damage. Yeah, this is good. All right. Attack pot will help later on. Signature move. Do we want our signature move for free? I think so. It's a little more damage. And let's take on this guy. Uh, this is good because we're going to get a lot of Montrobe saved up by the time he, uh, he he comes online. And we're going to be able to get rid of this stuff too. Okay, we just wait and hopefully we draw good cards here. We did. We draw excellent cards. We get to play this. We get to insight. I was hoping not to see signature move, but I did. That's okay. With prey. And this is actually probably a kill, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Good job. Good job. Uh, I got Aura Karkum. So if we have no block, at least we get a little bit more. Uh, I don't want this stuff at all either. Jeez. We're not getting very good card rewards yet. White Beast Statue. Potions are always going to appear. That means we can start using them a little more liberally, like in this fight. Uh, ooh, doo -doo. Um, yeah, I guess this is fine. I mean, I normally wouldn't use this, but I really have nothing else to do with my with my pot since we're getting new ones. I really like uh, something that heals me if I get... Signature move does 30. That kills him. So I just win this turn, right? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, never mind. We take... I should have been... Uh, uh, this doesn't get me to wrath, so I take two here. Every little bit does suck, because, like... Power pot, and there's our empty mine we can take. I still would really like some card rewards that are good. <laughs> uh, sweet, we can follow. We can, we can do this here, right? Yep. Um, this is gonna be thirty, so I might as well kill this guy. Yep, you're fine there. Fall through, signature move, prostrate prey. I need to get those prostrates and preys upgraded. So the, there's one sequence of us. Uh, we, so basically, we uh. We get Divinity in one sequence. We get a Stance Potion. Um, probably better than Artifact. And here's our Tantrum. It's our way into Wrath. We don't have a way out of Wrath, so we want to be very, very... Oh, no, we have Empty Mind. We have one way out of Wrath. We just want to be very, very careful whenever we're playing it. We get to spin the wheel. Come on, heal. Heal me. We took damage. <laughs> I wonder if that's randomized as well, or if you just... It's not as bad on this Ascension, at least. Um, yeah, another shop. Let's see what we got. Another an inner piece is a way into calm. I'm happy to see that. And I think that's it. Yeah, we're actually going to have a hard time with this boss up here if we get to him, um, which we should. I mean, we got a power potion. Maybe that'll do something for us. Let's see. We get to go into calm. We get to apply weak to you. I think I will use my attack potion here. Ooh, Ragnarok's great to see. Um, okay, so let's start with Ragnarok. Wait, is this? No, yeah. Ragnarok. Um, we hit that guy twice. That's great. And then... Uh, I don't really need Mental Fortress. No, no, no. I kind of want Mental Fortress. Hi, Kitty. I see you. He's weak. That's full block. And we get to go into Calm. All right, good first turn. Let's get a few more attacks and take out at least one of these guys. We got a Bowling Bash, which is exactly what we need. And a Crush Joints, which gives Vulnerable. So can I kill you 
the crush joints. I think I can. There's our scale for free. Yeah, because that's 21 anyways. So that's 30, so that's enough. Sweet. And we can talk to the hand you and signature move you to I should have killed that guy actually. That was a mistake. I should have killed this guy. Mistake there. Maybe hopefully it won't help. It does not hurt us. We're fine with tantrum. Talk to the hand, follow up. Alright. 30 gold, a bag of prep. Love to see a bag of prep. That's gonna make our game our day much, much, much easier. Um, another rush down, no, but a mental fortress. Now mental fortress doesn't do a lot, but it does something eventually, so I'll take another one. And I have to decide here if I want to rest. If I rest, I lose five max HP. Is that what the modifier says? Five max HP. Um, how likely are we? To, we, you know what? We have two talk to the hands. I think we'll be okay with this guy. We're gonna smith. We need. Our, we're way behind on our smiths, anyways. So the first smith is. Let's see. One of these. So the first sequence is we get two four. Where's prey? Where's Prey? Prey. First sequence, we get eight mantra. Um, if I upgrade one, we get nine. That doesn't help. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to upgrade these two prostrates. And the, then the first, we need to upgrade all of them, actually. But first of all, is going to be Talk to the Hand, because Talk to the Hand is going to be the block overall that we need. And I will use a power pot this uh, this fight because well I've got nothing to do with that mental fortress or battle him at the end of your turn at a, a beginning of your turn at a spite at the end of your turn at a insight what's better here I guess card draw is good for us right no matter what let's go play study for free um, we get down this is a lot of damage. Uh, do I want tantrum first? Tantrum, talk to the hand, follow up, gives me one energy. Play this, play empty mine. Yeah, I could take prey in my hand next turn. And then we just play empty mine to get out of wrath. I forgot that I draw. Uh. I guess I don't need to play Prey here. There's a Mental Fortress. Um, doesn't really help yet, but we do get 8 block here. Um, if we attack here, we take 3, but we block 2. And then we apply Weak at the end. That seems worth it. Yeah, now he's yeah. That's a full block. Uh, yeah, he's not as bad on this ascension. He's only that. Uh, here, I definitely want to talk to my hand. Um, that's going to give us five a block for every time we attack. And tantrum. So this is an overall. This is fifteen block, and we lose nine. And then we could apply weak. Yeah, we got twenty block from that. And he's doing 24. So either I can leave Wrath and take two, or I can stay in Wrath and try to proc him next turn. If we don't proc him next turn, we do have an Empty Mind in here. We have a Stance Swap Potion if we need it. Uh, yeah, and we have Insight, so we're good. Let's just hang out, take the two. Because if I could take him down here, I will. Um, that's not enough. Okay, so he's vulnerable. Uh, that's enough. I'll go ahead and do a rush down and uh, empty mind is our way out, and we have two insights, so I think we're fine here. Yeah, there's empty mind. So uh, actually, I think I'm going to tantrum him first because we get bonus, we get a lot more block here, right? Yeah, we took no damage, took 12 block. Every time we attack, we actually gain block against him, even though he's got the shell thingy. Uh, sure, I'll go back into Wrath. <laughs> uh, I think we just win here by going into Prey, right? Yeah, we get plenty of block. We can't signature move. 
Oh, I can't do any of this actually. All right, we're through the first act. We get 100 gold and a fruit juice for our troubles and a wish. Uh, wish is pretty good. Gives us plated, plated armor at the very least. Uh, empty cage, sozu, or cursed key. Uh, I don't want to take sozu because we have the white beast sap statue. Don't really want to remove two cards, so I guess it's just cursed key. Cursed key is not great. We have to be very careful with what... Uh, which relics we or which boxes we open up now? Um, let's see. There's elite, 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 elite. So there's a three elite path on the right. That's the one we're gonna take. Um, do I want this shop too? No, I want upgrades. But if I take, oh boy, there's no upgrades here, is there? Well, there's one upgrade. Hmm. We're just so far behind on upgrades. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather take. I'd rather skip this, but then I skip two elites. Like, there's only a single elite on the left. That's not good. This is just a bad map. Uh, maybe we just take this extra, this one, and then we get our upgrade, and then we have two elites. That might be better. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, slow. That's what's draining their artifacts, is they start with slow debuff. Okay, okay, okay. I was confused by what was exactly happening there. Uh, Talk the Hand doesn't help here. We could be in some issues with this thing. Crush Joints is if it's a skill, so we can inner piece. Crush Joints to get rid of an artifact. Have any other way to get rid of artifacts? Six plated armor. Does that stack with? Um, let's see if that stacks with our with our uh, Olacarcum. It does. Cool. So we could do nothing and get twelve block. Um, ooh, I didn't get that at the right time. Attacking for 20. Let's use our insight here. Okay, cool. That's excellent. Um, we get to Mental Fortress. We get to Tantrum. And just Lucky's fine. I should have talked to the hand first. That was a mistake. Follow up. Inner Peace. Uh, yeah, that's full block. Tantrum again. Talk to the hand. Sash whip. Good deal. 15 gold. I'll use my pot there. Essence of steel and upgraded concentrates. Okay. Might be too late for it though. I'm going to take it. You can't stop me. Another shop. Interesting. Chemical X. I don't have anything that does chemical X, do I? Nope. I like the teardrop locket. That's really good. Starting in calm is excellent. Uh, but the rest of this is not very good. I can't use fasting. It's too expensive. Don't really want to remove a card. Fury. We're not really changing stance as much, are we? Um, I'm. I, I kind of do want the judgment. It did. It performed really well for us last game, uh, especially since we can't get into wrath that much. But I'm not going to. Uh, Bag of Marbles is fine too, actually, for turn one, but I'm going to skip it. Alright, let's see what you got, buddy. You're attacking right away. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to the hand and weaken you and vulnerable you and probably signature move you. Oh, yeah, I'm signature moving you. He's using his debuff here. I don't think it's going to go well for him because yeah, I think he's dead. 15 gold. We get an ancient pot, which... We... Hmm. I'll... I think it's probably better than that. Cut through fate. It's upgraded. It comes upgraded. 
we get this fight. This is an interesting fight. It's like the other fight, but harder. Um, but I think we do okay, especially turn one. Do we get a kill? Uh, we might get a kill. Let's see if we can rush down. Um, so inner peace, we have three energy. Tantrum, we have five energy. Just lucky. Signature move to 60. That's enough. Cool. So inner peace, tantrum. Just lucky. That's good. Signature move kills him. Uh, those all seem perfectly fine. Ooh, maybe not. I forgot the draw one. That's okay. We still get a kill here, I think. Nope, it's a skill. It has to be a skill. So there's a skill, and then you're vulnerable, and then we follow up. There we go. We get a strength pot. Do we want the strength pot over one of these? Probably. I'm going to get rid of the artifact pot. Um, do we want to start with a smite in our hand every turn? No, I don't think so. And I don't want another cut through the cut through fate. 85 gold for a relic. That seems like a good deal. We get an ancient tea set. And we definitely need an upgrade here. Um, wish is pretty good. Talk to the hands, excellent. I guess let's talk to the hand again, and then we can start working on our prostrates and stuff. We do need card draw. Card draw seems to be something this deck is lacking. What is this? Upgrade a card? I love upgrading cards. How about prostrate? Wait, what does prey do? Is it just one mantra? Um, so let's say I draw one of these and two of these. Uh, but if I draw two of these, it's three, six, nine. Okay, so it's better to do the prey, I think. Not a fan of this fight. This fight can hurt us a lot, and we don't have very good start, do we? Um, what happens if we switch to Calm? Um, I don't know. Well, or Wrath. We switch to Wrath. These do... We use our Strength Pot. We can also wish for strength. I don't know if that's enough to kill him, but it is enough to do cool things. So we are going to st start in wrath. I'm going to wish for strength. Use my strength pot. Go to tantrum. Uh, concentrate. And then we just got to do 12 more. Hey, look, that does 16. All right, we use two of our pots, but we get one. We get the stance pot bat, and uh, we're through that fight. Ooh, worship five mantra. No tranquility to retain. I'll take a worship. Why not? If we upgrade it, we get to retain it. Oh, I forgot not to open that. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Now we have curses. What curse did we get? In injury uh, and then we got this crappy thing which we have to open relics boxes to uh, for it to be any use whatsoever I can't get into wrath unless I do this I kind of want to we do have seven mantra here so if we draw prey we go into happiness I think I'm going to start in Wrath uh, so we can do stuff like this and this and this. And I'm only realizing now that I should be playing other cards first because it gives them the slow debuff. So, was that last one a skill? I don't know, but let's make it a skill just to be sure. Bowling Bash, that seems great. Alright, starting in Wrath is good. Um, I get six block here, but I'll be in Tantrum. Uh... I guess we enter peace first. Trying to find a way to kill this guy and get gold from our wish without being in wrath. 
and then inner piece kind of does it. If it doesn't, we'll we didn't get to draw. Oh, because we're not in Wrathy Dummy. Um, okay, well let's do this to get energy. Why didn't we get to draw there? Oh, because we don't have rush down. Uh, crap. Well, I can't. If I had anything besides signature move, any other attack would would have do it. But I, I'm, it's not worth taking six damage. I don't think. Or is it? It's 25 gold worth six damage. Nah. Since we can't really heal it. We get a weak pot and a wheel kick. I'm okay with wheel kick. It's wheel kick plus two as well. Gremlin leader. Um. Gremlin leader's gonna hit us a few times, probably. We should find a way around that if we can. We do have five energy, which is nice. Use my power pot here, see if that does anything. Gain two mantra at the start of your turn. Interesting. Um, sure, that might come in handy. We have to decide if we want to use prostrate here, though. Uh, because we get six block if we do nothing. This only gives us two block, four block. Let's wheel kick, draw two cards. Actually, we should cut through fate first. Uh, yeah, that's cool. And then we can wheel kick you. Want to weaken him. Uh, follow up to seven. That does eight. We take. 12 we take six here or we can play just lucky and prostrate and still take six and then we get like a rush down as well that's yeah that's that seems better i don't want my mental fortress though mental fortresses not not performing like we need them to uh what do we got here we can inner peace empty mind to draw some cards Double talk to the hands, nice. I'm gonna worship with my extra energy, because next turn if we draw anything else, we go immediately into divinity and hopefully we can kill him, which I think we can with bowling bash, yeah, easily enough. And we get we get that does 20, 40, 60, and then we attach him for the win, so we can actually get some money here. Woohoo! All right, good fight. Thirty-five, a dark stone parapet, which kind of works with our curse key. Liquid memories, and there's an establishment that we were looking at earlier, but I don't think we need it. It helps if we ever upgrade worship, uh, but that's it. So no, thank you. Our next upgrade is worship. Allows us to retain. Um, being able to retain, like, we're going to get, like, five mantra pretty quick. And be able to retain this and then play it when we want, when we have tax in hand, that seems useful. Slavers, the hard fight. All right, we found the hard fight. We have lots of energy. Um, uh, let's see. Let's play this out like we need to. Okay, so talk to the hand him. Um, Mental Fortress is one, two, this is three, three, four, five. Okay, that's okay. Um, 18 to kill him, 32, that's not enough, damn. Uh, I should have played Met Mental Fortress, shoot. Well, first it's follow up, then mental fortress. Cut through fate will kill him, right? Yep. Uh, don't really want any of those, honestly. Weakness him. Empty mind for get out of wrath and to draw cards. That does a little bit of damage, and not bad. Not a bad turn one. We do get eight block whenever we change. So this is worth eight block. Um, I think this kills with vulnerable, right? Yeah, exactly.
Miracle Tantrum gives us two energy. That's not enough to use Wish. So we'll see if we can get it around again. Uh, that's not going to happen. Let's just win out here. 33 gold, a strike dummy, which is a terrible card. We have no strikes, do we? Bad. We have a bash, we have a crush, we have a move, we have a fate. We have no strikes. What a terrible, terrible, terrible relic for us. This is the way into Wrath. So is this, but this is a... Uh, Next turn, and we draw three cards. Sure, give it to me. Give it to me. Do I want this? Not really, but I'm going to take it. Uh, that gave us a lot of hit points, actually. We get a Centennial Puzzle, too. We're up to 93 max hit points. Uh, we do need to remove our cards, though, that we're starting to accelerate. Um, what do we want here? Do we want to start doing the prostrates and stuff? I think so. Or am I making Rushdown free, either, but... All right, we get this guy. This guy could be a little bit of a burden. I'm going to wish for strength, though. That'll make it a little easier. And then we get lots of talk-through hands on him, which is excellent. Uh, we get to end in Wrath, and we get to play our last Prostrate. Excellent. Okay, so we have, we're have we five into that. He's got double talk to the hand on him. We're feeling good about this so far. Okay, if I rush down Tantrum, I draw two. Uh, should be fine, right? Should be. This is a lot of block, actually. <laughs> but, um, this is a 6, 12, 18 block. Or do we just take out the torch heads? I think we try to take out the torch heads first. You're weak. Uh, worship puts us into divinity. And then we get to draw extra cards too. 96 damage. 25 damage. I think I can just try to kill him. Can I? Hundred and three damage. Uh, 17.34. Yeah, we're just going ahead. <laughs> that gives us full block here. And next turn, we'll go ahead and Simmering Fury. So we go into Wrath next turn. I probably should have done that first, but that's okay. I think we got a perfect fight here. Which is good, because Perfect Fights is good for the score if we actually do end up winning. All right. 100 gold, a Flex Potion. I think I like that better than Sneko. Yeah, Sneko's not great for us. A Scrawl is beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, tiny House, Runic Dome, or Holy Water. Uh, random Upgrade isn't great. I mean, all our cards are good upgraded, right? Um Oddly enough, we haven't found any of our, our, uh, what do you call it yet? <laughs> our curses. Like, we just haven't found them. I haven't seen them yet, have I? How's that possible? That's not possible, is it? Random upgrade, hitting, anything is fine. Um, I honestly actually rather really have the holy water. Or, yeah. We do a bag of prep, though. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards to start. That's fine. Um, makes our first turn really well. This says we get a potion, which we can't use. 50 gold, which we can use. Hit points, we can use. Obtain a, one card, which we might be able to use. And a random card, which we should be able to use. But I'm going to take the Holy Water. I think it makes our game a little bit easier next turn. And we're going to look for shops. Shops, 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 shops. I'm hoping to be able to hit two shops this, this run. That's right. We can't actually do... This is A4. So we, this is our elite, and we don't actually do anything else. Forgot about that. Um, I do get three elites. Excellent. And two shops. I'm happy to see that. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, we drew our shame, finally. Maybe I always did draw shame. I just didn't know it. 
Uh, this is not a great hand. All right. Uh, yeah, this is not a great hand. I do get the Shimmering Fury next turn, which I will do. I don't think I want to play Prostrate, though, because it lowers our block. Um, it does allow us into Divinity really quickly. Like, any, the next draw puts us in Divinity. Well, the next draw puts us in Divinity anyways, unless it's... For, oh, no, Prostrate doesn't. Right? No, it puts us into 8. All right, I'll take the extra... Extra two, two points of damage for that. We get Centennial Puzzle too, which I completely forgot about. It has, has to be good. Like, we get to go into Divinity here, right? So let's start with Talk to the Hand. Mm, actually, no, let's Tantrum. I don't think we're going to need Block here. Signature Move's going to do 120. Tantrum's going to do... Well, we gotta use tantrum first. Then we can do about that. Then we pray. Then we go crazy with talk to the hand. Sash whip does twenty eight. Cut through fate. Uh, sure, give me scrawl. Follow up is free. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. Sash whip. Signature move. That's a fight. That is a fight. Uh, Blessing the Forge might be better than Weak Pot. Nah, we'll keep Weak Pot. Don't want any of that. Uh, this guy should be a pushover. I don't know for sure, but I think he should. Um, Sure, give me a rush down. Uh, actually, don't really need those cards. I'm not gonna just hang out here. I do want to play. No, I want to play Shimmer and Fury. So this turn we're anti Wrath. Hopefully we can get kills. Um, we get a lot of stuff. That's for sure. So let's play a skill. So you become vulnerable, and we can follow up with that and just get the kill. 15 gold of fire pot I don't need. Uh, another prostrate. Might not be necessary at this point. Evaluate though. Um, sure, give me a single evaluate. Uh, waffle increases our hit points by seven and heals us. It's limited use there. Uh, we're definitely removing one of our curses, like shame. Do I want anything else? Finesse seems good um, with our with the slow debuff. It basically cantrips and gives you block. What else? There is an otherwise there is another shop coming up. Yeah, I think we just hang out and get the next shop because these aren't amazing. They're fine, but they're not amazing. We don't really need to pay for anything. I guess finesse is fine. We're gonna get some more money on the way, so we'll take it. Triple Jaw Worm says, hopefully you die. Uh, uh, we do get 10 block here. Uh, that's something. <laughs> Let's cut through fate to start, I guess. Pray? I think I'd rather take Tantrum. Yeah, I think with Tantrum we can actually full up block here, right, with Mental Fortresses. Um, let's double check. Rush down. Uh, we have five extra energy. We, we have to be able to do something good here, right? I mean, we don't have to, but I'm sure we do. There we can Tantrum you. Follow up. Does not quite kill him. I was hoping it would kill him. Hmm. 
this might have been an, 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 uh, a, a small issue. This might be bad. <laughs> I might have fucked up here. Uh, I got to liquid memories. The uh, cut through fate. Yeah, it's fine. At least gives us a draw. Um, does tantrum kill him? I don't think it does. I'd really like to find my way out of wrath. <laughs> but barring that, I guess we do have a prostrate eval, so we can actually be fine here. Yeah, we're fine here. Because um, we can prostrate, and then we can eval, and that gives us full block. And we can either do 39 points of damage, which seems relevant, or we could cast Simmering Fury. I haven't really used the money card much, have I? All right, I think we just get a kill here, especially in scale to make him vulnerable. Uh, yeah, I don't think that matters. I think we just die here no matter what. Yeah, because of the slow you die. Fairy in a bottle, fun. Uh, empty fist, nah, I don't think we need that card. The Maw, we are having the Maw. We're going to wish for strength. And we're gonna put Mental Fortress and rush down and prostrate and prostrate. And I probably could have sash whipped him, but I didn't. This retains, so it's fine. He weakens us and frails us, which is kind of a dick move. Because not like we have a lot of uh, HP here. We can go into Calm. Doesn't really help us much. We can do go into Divinity. <laughs> Doesn't really help us that much. Uh, ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, Divinity does nothing here, does it? We get to do just Lucky for one block. And then we get to go Inner Peace to go into Calm for more block. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We just do this. I'll take Finesse. That's fine. Follow up, Inner Peace, Simmering Fury. So next turn we are in Wrath, and we take a whole buttload. I'm going to weaken him. Uh, we took a lot of damage there. Ow. We get to Centennial Cut Puzzle. That's fun. Now we can go into... Oh, we're in Wrath. Uh, let's go into Divinity. That seems better than Wrath. Talk to the Hand. Finesse. Uh, cut through Fate. Sure. Make him vulnerable. Uh, wheel Kick. Uh, he's dead. He hit us once hard, but that's okay. 15 gold, a liquid bronze, and another follow-up, or master reality? Nah, we don't need that kind of stuff. And we're on to this gentleman, who, if we find him in the wrong turn, can be a kind of a beast, actually. Um, it does look like we're, staying, we're starting strong. <laughs> this does a little bit of damage. Uh, I think I'm just going to miracle for... Uh, plated armor. I can use one of these for a bowling bash. Oh, I sh and then I can follow up. No, I can't. I'm supposed to do that the other way around. I screwed that up. Okay. Um, we get a little bit of something here. He's intangible, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. So we don't do any damage with this, but we do at least uh, kind of cycle through our cards. Empty Fist, and that gives us full block with Finesse. Yep. These are cards I definitely want to play. Too bad I can't play them this turn. Um, this is just Vulnerable 1. I'll, I'll play that. Tantrum um, puts us at 20 block. He's doing 24. Insight could draw something. Uh, yeah, 
that's good, right? I think that's enough. Because he'll do 24, we'll block for 20, and enough. This will draw us a few cards with rushdown. Prostrate, 9, 18, 27, and that's full block. And next turn we can do that. Um, we can make him vulnerable. I think that's good. Uh, intangible. So next turn he's not intangible and we are divine, which is, it should work out. Hopefully. We're going to find out real quick if this works out. <laughs> oh yeah, we're good. I mean, barely, but we're good. All right, that was a good one. Ice cream, I love ice cream. It's like one of my favorite things ever. Um, ice cream says we retain uh, energy between turns. Uh, I don't know why it's one of my funnest things ever. It just is. Let's smith the other prostrate. And we're on to our second to last elite, which is Ruptomancer, who's always a joy. Um, do we have a way out? We don't. We have so much energy right now. I think we should be okay. Sure. That does 16. Signature move for 96 damage. Actually, I'm going to do this for a little bit more. 108 damage. As long as we draw a couple attacks this turn, it should be an easy fight. Uh, we didn't draw any attacks yet, but we do get to use our skills and then scrawl. And that should do it. Definitely does. Uh, we can wish to for money. Money! Money! Alright, good fight. Hey, Damaru! So we gotta, count, we gotta factor that into our mantra talk. And we'll skip those cards. Uh, we have to decide if we want another curse in our deck. I think it's worth it. We get an extra H we get extra hit points. Um, we get is it two relics instead of one? Yeah. Ooh, it's normality. Ooh. ooh, ooh. We can remove it right away. Okay, normality is literally the worst curse in the in the game. Uh, normality says when you draw it, you can only play three cards, and if you've already played three cards, you're screwed. So let's get rid of normality. Um, we survived. Woohoo! Another talk to hand seems fun. Fear no evil seems fun. Uh, those both seem fun. Uh, or he seems fine. What do I rather have? I'd rather have a talk to the hand, and we can't do both, so just give me the Ori, and I'm looking for, I don't know, something good. Another prostrate. Uh, flurry, worship, flurry, protect. Just lucky again. Not the best. I, I was looking for card draw more than anything. I found a prostrate punch. I'm going to take it just because it's plus. I don't see any card drawn here, which is too bad. Protect, I don't think we need. It does retain, which is nice, but honestly, the only I think we're going to win this next fight, or our end fight. The only problem is we're trying to figure out if we can do it without taking any damage, because perfect runs have more points. Is this guy slowed twice? <laughs> no, he just slowed once. Uh, all right. This is going to be a good turn. We're going to use pretty much all our energy, probably. I should have done this a long time ago. I screwed that up. I'd like to go into... I cannot go into Calm. Kind of sucks. Uh, go into Wrath. Actually, Prey is really good here. Puts us in Divinity. Uh, he might actually die. <laughs> that did 337 damage, turn one. Frozen Egg upgrades powers. We don't really need that. We're not using, we're not doing, we're not doing those either. So, all right. Back end here. We are on to the Transient. 
Transient can be a little bit of a annoying, but I think we'll be okay with our, our, our pretty good deck here. Um, we do have to stick in it for four turns. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, but I think having things like... Uh, this makes him vulnerable. I don't care about that. We could actually get a really bad turn with this guy, but we'll do our best. So we don't have a lot of card draw, and we have to find a way to keep him... Um, damaged. So that makes them weak. Well, we do have, we got decent block here because of our talk to the hands. Uh, I no matter, I, I might as well use my scrawl, right? Don't want to be into that. This gives me two block, and that's enough. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's that turn down. I probably sh I should probably play talk to the hand. It's just really good to get down. Don't want to go into divinity yet. Um, let's go and wish for money. Tantrum gives us enough block where I think we're going to be fine no matter what. Yep, we can actually play our Mental Fortress, and we don't have to worry about going out of Wrath because we have a Worship that can get us there if, if things go sideways. So Transient's a little weird if you don't know. Every time you hit him, he loses strength, so you just want to keep hitting him right in the face as hard as you can. And so his strength's at zero, everybody's happy. We uh, have 42 block even. Uh, tantrum is a, Tantrum's just a good card to keep coming. Uh, ouch, I guess we're going into Divinity. Let's go ahead and draw first. Um, yeah, I pretty much have to go into Divinity here. Just to do damage. <laughs> and then we'll, we have all this extra, but we'll go ahead and we could pray. Or we could worship. And we could pray. Oh, I should have prayed and then used worship later. Uh, that might have screwed my game. Nope, that was the last attack. Never mind. 15 gold. Uh, rather than liquid bronze, I'll take the swift pot for card draw. We don't need that stuff. And last fight before the end boss is the gentleman who could give us a curse, and if he does, we get 6 hit points, which is kind of fun. Uh, we have full block right now because of our anchor, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's just go ahead and get everything set up that we want to set up, like prostrates. And we could wish for money. Uh, we don't have another... We don't have another fight, so I guess we'll just wish for strength. Uh, we can concentrate. This might change his attack pattern to 21. That's okay, because then we can just cut through fate to change it again. Uh, becomes 15, and we're good. Um, let's see here. Do we want to... No. I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to go into Wrath. I decided not to. We are in Divinity next turn no matter what, though. Nothing we can do about it. Is attacking for 30? I don't like that. Attack for 15 instead. Um, I have, what, 8 block here? I don't have any block. Uh, boy. Um, card draw. Uh, well, what do I get? I get nothing. Every attack gives me only three block. I've only drawn one of them. Yeah, talk the hands on the end. Okay. Well, in that case, empty mind to draw. Prostrate for block. This will let me draw. Oh, that's enough. That's good. We'll just leave it here. Oh, we're in divinity. Damn it. Well, that's not as much fun, is it? We do get to... Do we ent this enters calm. Unfortunately. Next turn, we'll enter Wrath. Hopefully, we get a kill. Uh, I forgot about Ice Cream, too. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a kill. Well, I mean, not definitely, but it's a lot of damage. 
I do want to make him vulnerable if I can. So scroll, vulnerable, and then wheel kick should do it. Yeah, good fight. 15 gold of fear pot. Uh, I don't think so. Um, this, these guys, uh, one more upgrade is fine. I was thinking about healing to because we're cool, but there's no reason to. Uh, let's upgrade our, I don't know, our, um, our tantrum might come in the most handy. So these guys do have double artifacts usually. Um, we get rid of one because it's slow, so they have a single artifact, which is going to mean we can't block unless we draw, or we can't use our talk to the hands until um, we get rid of those artifacts. And... We have an opportunity to get rid of one with crush joints here, so we're definitely going to uh, play a miracle. Empty, well, we can just crush joints now. That gets rid of that. Empty body draws us two. There we go, that helps. Now we can start getting block whenever we attack him. Follow up is fine. And then bowling bash is fine. Mental, that's good. And then Shimmering Fury. Do we play Rush Down yet? We did not. But that's okay. We have card draw. So next turn we enter Wrath. We get three block for every time we attack. Actually six because we're about to draw our second talk to the hand. So we can talk to the hand him. Tantrum gives us ridiculous block. I've noticed that we don't have a way out of block. But that's okay because we get to weaken him. So he does... 38. As long as we attack him one more time, which we will with this, um, that's full block. And we can wheel kick him. Uh, we might as well use our stuff out, right? Like, well, let's see. We can enter Divinity next turn. We don't really have good damage next turn, is the problem. We do have a card draw. I could also scrawl here to draw some of that stuff away, and then we could, oh, I'd really like to hit him too. Puts us at eight mantra. I'd love to get rid of this if I could. I think I can if I do this, right? Yeah, this gives us three extra energy, which we can then prostrate for a few more. Uh, worship gives us more extra energy if we want it, but we'll just retain it for next turn. Um, so I'm looking to draw something. I don't have anything in here that can that can drain his artifact, which kind of sucks. I'll get rushed down. Down. Uh, Mental fortress is good. I suppose we can enter and we can just be in peace for a while. We still have our worship to get out of to get into divinity real quick if we need to. And we have a tantrum and inside a finesse. So we need to block for 26. Uh, I think we do that with this, don't we? This blocks for 32. Uh, we do tantrum again. So our block's at 56. He does 52. So we don't have to worry about block this turn. We can start working on this guy. Um, I think it's time to use the flex pot just because run as well, right? Yeah, I'll take your signature move. Sure. Um, then we can finesse to draw the signature move, and we can either play it or we can go into Divinity and play it. I think it's better to go into Divinity and play it, isn't it? Hell yeah, it is. This kills him. Well, it's Insight. Prostrate. Cut through Fate. I want... Uh, I don't have enough to play. No, I, okay, I can't play. I'll play that. That's good. Signature move is 105. Evaluate for the insight, and we got them both almost dead. This is going to be our, our tricky turn, if we can survive this turn. I think we, oh, definitely 10, because we get uh, Talk to the Hand Tantrum, which immediately gives us enough block to deal with pretty much anything. Tantrum again. It's 94 block, and we can wheel kick him for a win. Close to a win. All right, I think we're going to perfect this fight. Uh, yeah, that gives us Divinity, right? Yeah, Divinity. 
I just need to kill him. I think we're perfect in the fight. That's a pretty good score. I don't know. There's a, things, a few things we didn't do. Like you can, if you get four copies of a card, or three or four, you get bonus points and stuff. Um, we took a lot of elites. I think that's going to be a pretty good run, honestly. Unfortunately, because we're on A20, um, and you can see the game's a lot easier on lower ascensions. Like eight, we weren't really ever in danger uh, because they don't have the same um, move sets. They don't have as much attack damage. We dealt 1,047. Is that our score? I think that's our score. Let's find out. 1,047. Doesn't feel straight, um, which is weird because we got we got the overkill. We got the perfect twice. We killed six elites. We were well fed. Uh, yeah, I don't think we did very good. Let's find out, shall we? It's not what I wanted. I want play daily climb. Uh, well, you know what? We're never going to be in the top 10. Uh, okay, where am I? Just be my score. No scores. But I just did it. What do I mean no scores? We weren't even in the top billion? It shows everybody. Achievements are off? Why are achievements off? <laughs> because I'm using mods. The mods show me... And the mods don't do anything other like gameplay-wise, but... Because I'm using mods, it probably took off the achievement. So we'll have to change that out next turn. Let's just see about where we're at. Uh, keep them going. You know, top 1,000 would be nice. I don't think we're even going to hit top 1,000. So we had a good run, but we didn't do very well score-wise, I guess. I thought I did better. Felt better. Didn't take any damage in Donu Deku. So tomorrow we'll turn the mods off. Um, so we can actually see where our score is without having to scroll all the way down here. Did we break a thousand? I don't think so. Uh, after a thousand, won't worry about it. <laughs> nope, we did not break a thousand. But we're so close now, I might as well look. 1047 was our score. Come on, I'm going down like one at a time now. <laughs> uh, like the difference between this and a thousand is literally like 20 points, so. 1,047, we finished 1,367th place, tied for 1,367th place. Um, yeah, I think we could do better than that. And tomorrow we'll turn off mods so that we don't uh, screw it up as much, or so we can actually see where we're at, and it counts towards the daily achievement. Okay, thanks, that was fun. Talk to you later, bye.